Formula One is coming home this weekend to Silverstone, the circuit where the World Championship started 70 years ago. It's the British Grand Prix weekend and it's followed the weekend after by the 70th anniversary race. This is Sports File and here are some of the talking points. The first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix was held at this windswept old World War II airfield in May 1950. It was won by Giuseppe Farina in an Alfa Romeo, and the two cars that came after him were also Alfa Romeos. But there was a Briton on the podium that day, Reg Parnell. The chances of another Briton on the podium this weekend are pretty high. Lewis Hamilton has won two of the, last, of the first three races of the season, the last two in fact, and he's won at Silverstone at Britain six times, and it's a record, and he's chasing a seventh, which is highly likely. Mercedes have won everything this season so far. They've started every race on pole. So Lewis, Hamilton, a good bet for a win. He's behind Parnell, but still lapping the track at nearly 90 miles an hour. There aren't going to be any fans in the grandstands this weekend, and it was the best attended race of the year last year. But Britain has three and a half drivers in the race this weekend, and that's something for the country's television viewers to get behind. When I say three and a half, there's Lewis Hamilton, there's Lando Norris at McLaren, and there's George Russell at Williams. And then there's Alex Albon at Red Bull. He's racing under tie colours, but was born in Britain. Hamilton will get all the attention, obviously, but even if he doesn't do any crowd surfing this season, the popularity of Norris and Russell has soared over the last few months with their involvement in esports and raising their profile generally. They are a new, fast, young generation, along with Albon, that is getting the fans excited. Well, you can't talk about Formula One without mentioning Ferrari, the sport's most glamorous, successful and oldest team. They've been around since the very first year, 1950. They won here in 2018 with Sebastian Vettel. Last year, they were overall runners-up, but this year, they're struggling. They're down in fifth place. The car is not performing, the car is slow. Vettel and his teammate Charles Leclerc are not going to be on the podium this weekend unless something dramatic changes. This is also Vettel's last season at Ferrari. Could even be his last British Grand Prix, who knows. As he skids round Cops Corner in his Talbot, but no, he's off again. So the race becomes an all-Italian duel and brings the first defeat for the Alpha team. The winner was number 12, Gonzalez of Argentina, driving a Ferrari at an average speed of 96 miles an hour. But though victory went to the Ferrari ace, the BRMs did finish with high hopes of future success.